Waffle House is a home away from home for many, especially after a wild night out. But what happens when the grits hit the fan and the restaurant goes into emergency mode? From twisters to floods to hurricanes, it's no secret that southern states are susceptible to some of the worst weather Mother Nature has to offer. So in the event that a natural disaster does strike, here's why you'll want to be within arm's length of the 24-hour diner. They need a place to eat. They need a place to actually charge their cell phone. They'd like to have AC. In 2011, FEMA identified the Waffle House Index, a color-coded system that reflects the operating level of a Waffle House in a disaster area. Code green indicates a full-service menu, while a limited menu is under a code yellow umbrella. And if Waffle House is closed, then it's a code red. For code yellow status, Waffle House has implemented four different kinds of disaster menus, so that no matter the level of storm or destruction, the restaurant could still operate to some degree and provide food and shelter. Speaking to Business Insider, Waffle House spokesperson Pat Warner has said, After the storm, we feel like we need to be there. It brings the community back faster. He continued by saying, You'll start to see folks getting out more. Back at Waffle House to check in on everybody. Make sure everybody's okay. Get a good meal. Clearly, no Waffle House location is going to surrender to Code Red without a fight. Known for its wide array of hash browns, Waffle House is much more than just a restaurant chain. It's a place of refuge. Under Waffle House's Code Yellow tier are four different disaster menus. Labeled Limited Menu, Emergency Menu, No Water Menu, and No Power Menu. These are put into place so that in the event of a natural disaster, the establishment can remain open to provide food and shelter to those in surrounding neighborhoods. Each menu has a limited amount of offerings, which are selected based on available resources or lack thereof during times of crisis. According to a Reddit user, the limited menu is used when there are other restaurants open, whereas the emergency menu is distributed when Waffle House is the only food service running in the area. Should Waffle House lose access to resources like power or water, then the other two menus come into play. Another Reddit user clarified that the no water menu means no ice or foods that require water to make, like pancakes or waffles, will be available. However, Waffle House locations are equipped with emergency water tanks for sanitation purposes. Likewise, the griddles are gas, not electric, so customers can still order eggs, hash browns, and hamburgers during power outages. Additionally, it's also common for Waffle House to slash prices during Code Yellow. Speaking to Business Insider about the discounted emergency prices, one Waffle House spokesperson said, Bills are calculated with the lowest tax rate in the local market, and then rounded down from there to the nearest dollar. This helps low-income families, those with only cash on hand, or when grocery stores are unreachable and families need food. Beyond the four Waffle House Index menus, Waffle House's official Instagram has also alluded to the fact that employees sometimes veer from standard menus, asking customers to post pictures of their, quote, favorite off-the-menu creations. The chain reposted two customers' pics, including a sausage egg and cheese sandwich served on raisin toast and a bacon egg and cheese creation on a waffle. Meanwhile, an Instagrammer who claims to have been a Waffle House employee for 29 years shared a picture of what they refer to as secret menu item number 154, double D's, or two sunny-side up eggs on top of round hash browns. Back over on Reddit, cooks and customers shared some more secret menu items from Waffle House. However, the thread points out that not all Waffle Houses make these items, and you'll probably be out of luck if you ask for an off-menu dish during a busy period. However, another Waffle House employee wrote, I just tell customers who seem to be indecisive that we also have omelets and other items not listed on the main menu, and that if there's something they were in the mood for but don't see, to simply ask. <laughs>